North Carolina's governor is fuming the two convicted murderers could soon be out of prison, Alfred Jones and Faye Brown. And I think it's ridiculous, absurd. I am furious about it. Monday, a state appeals court issued an order blocking their release temporarily only an hour before they were due to be set free. The decision followed a lower court ruling to let them go. To think that you're going to let two people out totally unsupervised in North Carolina is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Attorneys for the pair argue that both inmates were sentenced decades ago when a life term meant 80 years. And they argued the convicted killers had completed their punishments because they had earned a variety of sentence-reducing credits and complied with the law. If we don't follow the rule of law, then we would be living in a lawless society. And for that reason, you know, we feel it's really vitally important that the state officials follow the rule of law as it exists and not as they wish it to be. But victim advocates disagree. It's terribly wrong. This is an abomination. I think they'd at least have some sense that justice was done if the parole commission had a further opportunity to look at these individuals one by one and see if they could be released without a danger to society. With the pair's release temporarily blocked, the state is appealing the case. More than two dozen other inmates are in the same situation as Jones and Brown. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.